So welcome back. Hopefully you've seen part one of this review of sketchbooks that we're doing, having taught our drawing course, Drawing and Design for Embroidery. We've had a look at my sketchbook in part one. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it. Now we're going to look through Sarah's sketchbook. She has got in there lots of different designs for embroidery. You can see her working, so we're going to have a look through that now. Okay, so my sketchbook's a bit different to your sketchbook. Um, it's a fairly cheap one, actually. I found if I have nice sketchbooks, they just make me freeze and I can't do anything in them. And I just found getting a cheap one means I don't worry about that, really. And this is more of, um, this is my thinking book, if you like. So this is where I sort of work through in my head what I want to do and then I might add colour so it's not as much colour in this one as there is in yours. I'll actually the first page blank so that I'll clear that. Right, these are pomegranate designs um, and I wanted, I can't remember what it was for but I remember doing it and struggling as you can see. I wanted three pomegranates in it and I just couldn't do it every version. I did just, couldn't make it work and sometimes you just keep trying, keep trying, and it doesn't come. And I think you just have to go, you know what? I'm not meant to do a design with pomegranate. Because <laughs> I just couldn't make it work. I think this is probably, I don't know. I think it's uh, it, not every idea is going to come to fruition. And I remember asking an illustrator once how many of hers came to fruition. And she thought about one in 20. Right. So she needed to have 20 ideas. For one of them to 19 work. to not come to anything right. and one to work. So right. just doing the work, just doing the quantity. I think if I did that many, I'd bank up. <laughs> 19 didn't work. Is one with one that I think did work. Yeah, that's so. beautiful. This is three was obviously one. not meant to be. Yeah, one was. I like this one. That's fine. I did a set. I think I was going to paint them onto canvases. I think that was the idea of these. Um, I think I might have actually painted that one. Quite like That's that one. beautiful. That's a very interesting image. So what have we got on the right hand side? So this was a um, designs for a ribbon work class. Um, I've got a link in here, which is usually... Yeah. <laughs> so this would have been actually for a class now, which gives me instant parameters of what I need to do. So it's usually a day class so I know what stitches I've got so I've made a little note here of uh, the ribbon work stitches and anything else that goes with it. I know how many I can get in a day mm -hmm. so that's quite limited so that tells me about my design and I had these little wooden shapes. This oh, is a wooden yeah. shape and this is a wooden yeah. shape um, and then we did the ribbon work off the wooden shape. Yeah. So that was just a little, little design for that but it's quite good to have these parameters because yeah. then um, silk shading Lincoln, oh, right. <laughs> that yeah. tells me what that is. Um, so some ideas, this, I never did this idea, this never came to fruition, mm -hmm. just some ideas for something small that I could do, so I went, I do what these arrows mean, from that to, <laughs> to that to a pumpkin. Yeah. My apple changed into a pumpkin at oh, some point. Right. And there's a little, a little shell there, but I never got any further than that, so sometimes it's just, you know, get your ideas down. Yes. Um, they come to fruition or they don't, really. Oh, what are we here? Right, Queen Mary. Let's turn this around. Um, yeah, Queen Mary. <laughs> so I did a stitching retreat on the Queen RMS Queen Mary. So that was the first Queen Mary ship, which is now um, in Long Beach, California. It's a floating hotel. And with my colleague, we did the stitching retreat. And I wanted these these designs for the ship. We were doing design in the class, but I wanted um, to take some to give people an idea. So I studied, I got lots of books on them and studied them mm. and um, did some little designs on it. And there's the, try to get the whole ship. It's quite a long ship. Yes. Um, and the sort of postcards of the time, sort of very 20s. Yes, this is a strong design, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, these were going to be the flags, obviously, didn't get any further. <laughs> <laughs> you realise how many flags a there were? A lot of work, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the the white oh, I see. star yeah. Yeah. bit, so yeah. the logo with the ship in it. Scribbled some ideas, just my little... So uh, these are thumbnails yeah, for yeah. your experimenting with yeah. composition. And yeah. I found it quite hard because these shapes are very geometric shapes. I'm not really used to that in designing and I actually found it quite difficult. 
Yeah. Art Deco, the whole ship is Art Deco, designed inside. Um, they put the original interior back, they restored it, so it's all these beautiful Art Deco shapes, but really hard to, de to design for, actually. Well, they're very symmetrical, aren't they? So if you were going to use that, you'd have to lay it out really carefully if you were yeah. going to stitch something. Yes, and you, yeah, then you're counting and measuring and... Um, yeah, it didn't really happen, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. This one was also from the ship. This oh. was on the by the restaurant, and this was a glass panel, and it had kind of frosted fish in it. Mm. Um, so one of the few things that was was not geometric with lines in it, and these three fish that did these bubbles. Yeah. But the whole thing was glass, so you could see through it. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Oh, uh -huh, it's a ginger cat. <laughs> Another ginger cat snuck in there. Don't know what the rest is. <laughs> This is the black and white cat. Struggle to draw her because this is the colour she really is. Really interesting issue about she is different tones already. So how you describe form if you can't if use you, tone so easily? Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. very black and very white. Mm. And the white bits are super white, and the black bits are super black. Yeah. So to get the shadow on and still indicate these black and white bits, haven't yet worked out how to do yeah, that. So she's much harder to, to draw. Which is a shame, because she sits still for a lot longer. <laughs> um, mm. Just a random snake design. This is inspired, I think we went to the Pompeii exhibition. Oh, at yes, yes. The British Museum, was it? Yes, it um, was, yeah. And this was, this is a design from Pompeii that I liked. Mm. And then from Pompeii to medi <laughs> medieval times. Yeah, he's interesting. Yeah, lots of you probably like these little, little I do, ones. I do like those a lot. Little medieval details from medieval um, manuscripts, just oh. put page numbers, but I didn't put what book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, could look, you could do an interesting random looking up exercise yeah. in any book and see, see what's what on page, on page one, page two, page two. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful design. I'm not really sure where this came from, but it's had a couple of incarnations already, really. And yeah. I obviously, I, I drew this half for, for whatever I drew it for. I don't even know anymore what this yeah. design was for. And I started to draw the second half. Yeah. And then I thought, why am I drawing the second half when I can just turn it over and yes. repeat it? So yes. I stopped, and I quite liked the half of it. Mm. Um, and it was obviously going to be some embroidery because I've got white silk, gold thread, red jewels and pearls, mm. which I think mm. would be quite fabulous. Yes, it would. It but would. it's never been made. I did paint it onto a piece of fabric and, and stick some gems on it. Oh, right. Um, for an example yeah. for something. So it's never actually become... I think I've done it in pyrography as well, oh, so on the wood. Yes. But it's never been in embroidery, but oh. it was obviously intended to be in embroidery. But some of these things I will come back to, you know, and I think this is definitely one that's got, got some future as yes. it's an embroidery in it. But... I kind of need a purpose almost to do it, or they don't get yes done really. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. he did get half done. Yeah. <laughs> He's been started. Yes, um, yep. and I think what was this for? It might have been a demonstration weekend, and I wanted something to to demonstrate on that was new and I had a oh no interest in the peacock colours. Um, so he's actually been started started stitching. Um, but I have, it's not been finished, but this was all gold and, and jewels in here and see, uh, spangles, gold work spangles around here. So he was going to be really lush and gold mm. and shiny. And... I'm not sure where some of these designs have come from. It's sort of got to the point now and I can, I, you know, they, they're just drawn freehand mm. like, like the peacock. They did just start drawing, and these are in pencil, so I can rub out and redraw if yeah, I want some to. Some beautiful lines in this one. Through well, that. he, I think he appears again later on, so we'll see what he he becomes. Oh, um, right. Very distinct tree. So I think I've got this from something. Yeah. I don't think I would make that up particularly. Um, I'm not too sure what he was for, but he does appear mm. again, and I quite like this oh, yes. little chappy down in the there. corner. <laughs> <laughs> just having a little look in. Yeah. What's going on. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's another interesting. another one that never came to fruition. I was trying to do fruit and combine fruit. Um, so obviously apples and... The serpent. Yes. yes. 
but too complicated um, was never really going to be anything but too complicated for embroidery yes or, yes yeah. for probably what I I wanted to to do it so probably work quite well for an illumination yes and it's yeah. a really novel image I love the way you've combined the apple and the snake and yes. the tree inside more on the tree idea here and I think this was I, I did a, a pyrography course which is the burning on wood yeah. you draw on wood mm -hmm. with, with a burning tool and I think these were with that in mind I think specifically more than embroidery but they would translate and sometimes I can come back to it and think oh I'm, I've done a few designs in different techniques and stuff so um, yeah not quite finished that but an idea there if I should yeah. Want it. yeah. These were pyrography designs, just little details that we could try out on things. It's kind of cute. Little so little. ink drawings because that's most like the line yes, of the tool. Yeah, yeah, black using. line on, yeah. on the wood. Yeah. So quite like these umbrellas. Oh, yeah, umbrella, I actually. like the hair that you've got. He's cool. The back end's gone a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> a bit thin. Some more designs. Mm, this beautiful vine leaf. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I quite like these. Actually. Yeah, they work well, don't they? Translate very nicely into embroidery. Yes, yes. Quite random. I did oh. actually do these in pyrography on leather. You can see the bookmark behind it. Oh, right. Became a bookmark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got those from something else. They're not my original. Yeah. Dear. Yeah. Uh, a couple of roses and a random fox. Why not? Yeah. Your designs just just out of your head. Not sure. I don't. Um, I'm not sure where these were from. I don't think he would be. So sometimes you'll make a note of some other design that you've yeah. seen that you like yeah. that you might yeah. just sort of draw it and just to to understand it a little bit and think that's mm. a nice idea. Mm. I obviously like the seed heads because they've come back quite a lot. So this is a little play on how I can. Um, stitch them. Look, I've got some stitch notes here, some different stitches I could use. Got beads, eyelets, fly stitch, some techniques here white work, gold work, and then I've got colour, yeah. silver dandelions. And yeah. I think I decided this was, I liked it, but it was a bit rigid. Yeah. yeah. And ended up with this design oh, yeah. down here, which was much more organic. I like the little ones floating off. It. Yes, that's a um, lot more curvaceous, isn't it? Yeah, this was a bit, yeah. Not very dandelion like with them blowing in the wind, they yeah. wouldn't all stick up right like that. Yeah. So sometimes you have to refer to what they would actually do, don't you? To mm. you know, dandelions wouldn't actually do that, and it doesn't make sense. Um, some more medieval bunnies, <laughs> the jousting bunny. like my medieval bunnies, trumpeting bunny, trumpeting They're one and a jousting. Funny. I like if he's riding a snail, yeah, he's not going to get to his joust very quickly. <laughs> So are these from Illuminated Manuscripts? They will be, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I did make one up, I don't think he's in here, and put him on a motorbike. <laughs> Which, that was quite cool. Um, so put Silk Shaded Bunny gold work. So I've sort of got an idea of embroidery in mind for this, yeah. but, but it's not, I've ever done that. Mm. I think he would make a lovely design. I might come back and revisit him. Yeah. And yeah. a little Alpine village in the top. Oh, yes, yes. I've had painted that and gold leafed that one, so... Oh, right. Consider that one for an embroidery. Wow, this is very elaborate. And I found the source that I got this from the other day and thought, oh, I must write that in and I forgot. But I think this is another illuminated... Right. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it um, looks a bit like an Indian chintz or something, doesn't it? It does. Those, Maybe it was a fabric. Yeah. With these little chaps down here. But this was a, another pyrography piece oh, I did. right, yeah. It would make a fab embroidery, but it's quite a lot of it's work. It's detailed, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't you need to scale it up for embroidery a bit? Um, you could, could do you work it, it that you scale. You could do on that scale. It would be detailed. But it's a really nice little element you could just take out of, isn't it? Just the little mm. bunny and the flowers is really nice. Yes. Well, this group of birds yeah. here is interesting. Yeah, so you could take little elements of it and yeah. work a little element. Aha, uh -huh. pyrography? Yeah, Christmas decoration yeah, presents. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. Just drew around the shape of my book and did some patterns on it and yeah. copied the pattern. Yeah. So, oh, nice easy way to do some design, but... This looks a bit like adult colouring books, which is so yes. popular, doesn't well, it? Yes, 
Yeah, and yeah. I've just made those designs up. Yeah, yeah. Some of them kind of based on embroidery sort of ideas. Yeah. Look at this trellis. Yes, yes, yeah, so that looks like a stitch pattern, doesn't yeah. it? This is interesting because this, I look at this and think ribbon work. I definitely did these, are definitely ribbon work. But then I put gold work and I've actually done a little stitch plan. Yes. In gold, I've actually you detail the whole thing. what it's yeah, going to be. Yeah, what each part would yeah. be. Because I know the technique so well, I can, yes. I'm able to, to think about that. So um, it ended up being ribbon, but I have got a plan for gold work, which again has never been done. So maybe I should go back through. Yeah, you could return to that. <laughs> yeah, you and I think that would be a lovely design. And it would have to be scaled up from that, would it, for gold work? For, um, possibly a little bit. It would be quite a fiddly gold work yeah. design. Yeah. Huh? So possibly a little bit. Here's the deer again. He oh. was the one that was under the oh, tree right. earlier. So I've just taken him out and again I've done a, a whole stitch plan for him. Um, and I've put gold work design but I've not ever made this. Yeah. So I got as far as this and decided he was lovely. I guess maybe never had a, a purpose for it. So it, it, it's never been made. I usually need a goal yeah. to get these things mm -hmm. stitched. But I've got them all in here, and if I need one, I can come back and go, you know, it's done already. Look, all the decisions are made. Um, I quite like the drawing. Actually. Yes. <laughs> actually, drawing out the stitch patterns gives you something, doesn't it? It does a lot, yes. Yeah, so there's the chips in here and, and passing. You've even drawn the stitches on this bit here, and that yeah. tells you what it looks like. So I know enough about the technique to where when I draw it know how that's going to translate so it is a good idea to actually draw the stitches in mm. this. some little tiny designs oh. I obviously had a size in mind because I put three inch gold work designs oh, I so I obviously before. wanted them to be that big yeah. Yeah. so maybe kits or something I've copied it so maybe with the intention of, of making transfers out of them transferring the design for yeah. them here's my little alpine village again but my mm -hmm. um seed heads so revisiting ideas yeah, that you've had yeah, earlier and recycling them for other things and yes and there's yeah. that is that little bunny look with the little flowers yeah, from the bigger oh, picture yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. obviously thought seen him before and thought make a good design yeah lots of artists have done that recycled little mm. bits of their designs yeah if it's a good one why not exactly yeah. exactly oh that's beautiful this and i will put um the actual one here so you can compare the two is a book cover um for a pyrography book that i was making that didn't quite get finished um and you can see you can see the two how I've got from one to the other. A bit more detail on this one than this one. Mm -hmm. um, quite pleased with that front cover. But just started the design and then just added added to the design. So orange trees. Oh, and then was this for a project? I think I recognise this one. Yeah, this is a series of kits that we sell in the shop um, of fruit trees. Um, this is the final one that we picked. Mm -hmm. um, I really like this one. <laughs> That's beautiful. I but I like couldn't that. translate. I was doing a set of them and I couldn't translate it into the other techniques. Oh, so this had to relate to a different... So was it the same design for each technique? Um, I didn't. I don't know if I've got the others. No, I had... Um, so this is an orange tree. I had a lemon, an apple and a pear. Mm -hmm. And I changed mm -hmm. the shape of the tree slightly yeah. for each one. And obviously the fruit. And they were all different colour. Yeah. So this one translated best into four different types of tree. Right. Although this one I do really like. And I, I that will be something one day. Yes, I just I love the, that's the curves it in that one. It looks windblown and fantastical, does. doesn't it? Yeah. That will be something, but I'm not sure what mm. yet. And some other little ideas that didn't quite make the grade. Whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got to thinking about dimensional gold work. How could I make things 3D? Yeah. This was a start of an idea. I think I saw something like this cornucopia in a book. Yeah. Thought, oh, that's fabulous. What else could I do? And that was as far uh. as I got. <laughs> that takes a lot of thought and planning and trialling and can't just sit down and stitch it. Some of them I know when I put the stitches in what it's going to be like and this this needed a lot more work. Mm -hmm. So just never never got any further. Yeah. Right. That 
There's a little gold work design that I stitched up quite simply. It wasn't for anything. So just exploring the technique and uh, for your own interest or did you make yeah, I can't video? Or... What I didn't make a video of it. I've got a whole plan of what I did. It's obviously going to be something I never mm. Some scribblings. Mm, beautiful birds. These are part of a design I did for a commission. I did a picture for somebody and these are off the picture. Um, but I just thought they were so nice I could, could use those yes, for something else. Yes, yes, this is beautiful. I've worked out some... I don't know what these letters stand for. <laughs> <laughs> Got B, F, 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 B, F, B, 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 and F. Mm. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> This was a YouTube. Still gold working, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, is this gold? Gold and black work, is it? Um, I did do a gold and black work. So this gold work. and black work flower. Yes, this was a class that I did. Start in the middle. <laughs> well, there's no uh, arguing with that, is there? No. Fade out towards the edge. So we're going to start the stitches. This is black work, yeah. So the black work in the middle and the gold edges. Yeah. I thought we could start in, with black stitches in the middle and fade them out and have a go at some how to fade out a black work stitch. All oh, right, yeah. Um, so this was a project that I did for a class. And then I took the same design and I did lots of trellis patterns and these are on our YouTube videos. This was a YouTube video plan. Ah. So I do plan them. Yeah. Despite what I made on. <laughs> Um, and I've written what stitches I'm, I've put in them, and you can see those on, on the mm -hmm. channel. So sometimes the same design can do several. Yeah. Some more roses. And quite early on in the book, these yes. ones, and I've started to stylize it now, make it yes, into a... that's interesting. ...into a design. Obviously had a thing going on with mushrooms. Mm. Couldn't really get any of those to work. You did do a small gold work toast, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, they were a bit straight. That was before these ones. I thought something a bit more organic. And I quite yeah. like this one now that I look at it again. Yeah, yeah. But I just, and this one. But I couldn't really quite get those to yes. do what... This one I've drawn the stitches on. Look, there's yeah. the chips and pearl, yes. pearl and cut work. Oh, this is something different. It is. And this started as a little idea. I, I quite like the story of the princess and the pea and I've made a project, a stitch project on this before and I wanted to um, do a painting of it and I just started to scribble it. I didn't really have any intention for it and it just grew and grew and you can see it's quite smudgy and I've rubbed bits out again and again and just kept working it and it ended up being being this design. Um, this illuminated, oh, it was beautiful the way it all, goes yeah. out into the border. All the way around here and yeah. around here. And so there's I, the princess looking grumpy, presumably. Yes, because she's sitting on a pea on all her mattresses. Oh. I think it would make a fabulous embroidery and I've got some ideas about how I could do it, but obviously a massive amount a of time. big project, that, yes. So that will be revisited. But just one of those things that came out was the right time. Yeah. And all the things that you've done before feed into it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. It's the peas. Not yes. The border. Yes. Excellent. Some oh, ideas. What we Paintbrushes. For, yeah, some ideas for some silk shading, and I could teach silk shading oh. and get from the colours. Oh, that's a good idea. Right, the rainbow colours across the oh, top. Yeah. <laughs> this is an upcoming project, which has not yet been done but oh, this is a sneak preview then. a bit of a sneak oh, preview oh. this has probably changed quite a lot so that's not going to help you <laughs> <laughs> so moving on this is our distance <laughs> learning course so that's the next one there's it printed look ready oh, to go right so that's the design that will go on yeah. the fabric fantastic yeah, this is my apples and pears a little bit beautiful coming. that's beautiful uh back to this flower again black work stitches and reinterpreting it again yeah, yeah. So sometimes there's the rose from earlier with a stitch detail. I've actually made this further technique, so something a bit more complicated. Yeah. Now. Um, and again, drawn them in. This is I find this incredibly useful to do this. It's almost like stitching it without stitching it. So you see what I so mean? So you're drawing how that yeah, this plate. is plate, and yeah. I can look at this and know what it is. This is plate. This is essing. This is cut work. Yeah. This is chips. This is, yeah. You know, yeah. I can see that. So I find that really useful to do that. Oh, beautiful studies. 
random iris paintings. I think these came up in my garden. So, oh, so those are from life? Yes. Mm, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It's not really the right paper for painting on, which is why there's not really any painting in here much, yeah. but sometimes it's okay to have a yeah. good splash about. Um, Opus Anglicanum. So this is a class I did at the Victoria and Albert Museum a couple of years ago in conjunction with their exhibition. Um, and just sometimes to get into a subject, if you swap subjects a lot, you have to get your mind in the right mode <laughs> for it. So I studied it a little bit and the history and what the materials they used were and examples of it. It's kind of get my head in the right. Here's the stitches. Look. So these are your learning notes really yeah. for the class. Yeah. yeah. And a random design for my garden <laughs> in the middle. What want to go? Oh, wow, you designed your trellis. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's my back fence. And <laughs> um, this was from a friend, is Potter, who makes these. So this is for his, and I put some pansies in it and did oh, a little nice. yeah. painting. We might have been trying out some materials here. Some new media. Yes. Ah. Yes, that's probably what that is. Always exciting having something new to play with. It is. Back to my Opus Anglicanum, uh, studying the heads. So again, I have this brief um, in my head that I've only got usually a day to teach it. And I start something, you think, oh, I can't do that in a day, like that, but I can't do that in a day. And it sort of whittles down quite quickly to what's actually manageable. Mm -hmm. And this is the one mm -hmm. that we did um, here. Yes. A lot smaller. Yeah. It became yeah. about that big. A couple of notes on the bottom. So you've got some stitching lines in the, in the yes, place. Yes, yes. Yep, started to put some stitches in there that way. Oh, goodness. Doodling? Yes, and this is the deer shape again. Oh, yes. From earlier. Oh. Just had a bit of a... A little colouring book. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Some more notes. This is a course that I went on oh. about pigments right. and making your own pigments. Yep. So some notes on the course. So I have to break up the rocks. <laughs> there is a, a method to breaking up a rock. Of course, so up. they all know now how to make your own if their supplies run out. Yeah, here's some recipes and oh my gosh, I even had a little go. Oh Not, look, there's your little little one of these medieval bunnies makes another appearance. So here's some notes about how to make the paint. So that was about how to break the rocks up. Yeah. This is about how to make the paint. So this is malachite here. It's quite rough actually. It's like sandpaper. Oh gosh. See all the grains in it. Powdered rock. Yeah. Yeah. This was actually Lincoln rock from Lincoln. Lincoln. Earth, so <laughs> painted with oh. Lincoln rock. And then I painted him in those colours you can see there. Yeah. yeah. Colours. I had a little go at him and the gold leaves come off a bit. But so what, what was the red from? Was that a paint you uh, made? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, I don't know if I said yes. I don't know. Didn't make a note about that. Mm. Mm. So that was a course. This is a design I've made. I've even framed up the fabric, and that's as far as it's gone. <laughs> this is ribbon work design. Yeah. Wanted to have a go at. Notes in the corner about colours. Mm, yeah. So ready to go, but. And really, you're always going to have more ideas than you can execute. Way more. You? This yeah. is one book yeah. of, you know, many books. Yeah. But it's a nice record. If I want one, I can come back and flick through. Yeah. And, and some things I'll revisit, some things we'll never see the light of day again. A couple of sweet peas. You've written on his squashed fly, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a squashed fly. I was apologising to the fly. Oh, what's very kind. I didn't mean to squash him. I was trying to brush him off and I squashed him. Sorry, fly. Little cats there. Um, I often watch YouTube channels, other people's YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, learn from them. And this was a drawing once, it's Shri Rayner. Um, and had to go to some of his exercises. Ah, oh, look at these. See more of his exercises. I like these little people. I like these little people. They're great. Good. Fun ways to learn. He's a, an illustrator, so you get a very so this particular was a, style. Right. And here we're looking at um, postures yeah. and how people move. Yes. And then you can have a go at starting with a stick figure, and you can see how they're constructed. Like yeah. with the, these shapes for the parts of the body yes. and once you've got what the shapes are you can just basically move the right. shapes around as long as they're all sort of formed out of these shapes How interesting. You'll, get, you'll get something that makes sense cylinders circles triangles, triangles. rectangles and Lines. ovals yeah yeah brilliant and as long as you get those you know get that form right you can move them yeah so yeah that's quite good dances yeah i like this one yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. got a good yeah, she has. leaping through the air yeah. 
Uh-huh. Oh, back to Opus Anglicanum and <laughs> some more heads. Uh, page numbers here, so this must have been from the catalogue, I think. Oh, yes. Um, this one I started to stitch, so I'll finish her, her up. But uh, they're so characterful, aren't they? They are. Fabulous yes. little faces. Yeah. Process, medieval process for illuminated manuscripts. Oh. That's probably another course I went on. Yeah. It's good to make your own notes because you understand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. we got into letters from I the illuminated see. manuscripts. Oh, so this is lettering. Different styles. Um, some of these are, these have been painted mm. too. Mm. Oh, I recognise the pearly lion head. Yes. Yeah. He's been made, so I'll put him up here as well. But. Uh, yeah, lots of tiny little pearls. That was about. That's a bit pearls. smaller, wasn't it? I it think was he smaller. was. They were really tiny yeah. pearls when they offer yeah. an uh, early medieval cape, as yes. I recall. Some notes with it. Mm. Oh wow! Another illuminated one. This became. I painted this one. Um, I'd love to stitch some of these one day, but. They would work so well, wouldn't they? A big stitch. gold R for yes. Robin. There's yeah. his bow through there. There's a yeah. bow here as well. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the oak leaves, as this is my stomping ground. I yeah. live it. And also this makes Show an H which. for hood. Yes, it does. As well. Yes, the H is the bow. Yeah. yeah. So and the R is the... So, yeah, I did that all myself. That's uh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, harmonious design, that. Mm. And this is just stopping, although he's firing his arrow out, mm. he's stopping by this. Mm. So yeah, he would like him to be something. This little rabbit, I don't know if anyone recognises him, he's, oh, yes. he's appeared in yes, a, few, yes. a few kits. And look, some little mushrooms. Some little mushrooms. So yeah, these things cycle their way around. They do. <laughs> More manuscript That's figures. That's beautiful. This is more you, isn't it, than me, really? Well, I have lots of drawings like this oh, as well. This is very yeah. you, yeah. yeah. More so, yeah. details from vestments. Yeah, he became a project, another project for yes. the Victorian Albert Museum. Yeah. I liked him because he, he looked like Robin Hood. He was green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looked like Robin Hood. Uh, back to the lion. This is the size of him, isn't it? This he is was tiny, he wasn't he? Yes. yes, and repeated yes. on the cape, as yes. I recall. Loads of pearls, weren't yes. there? Must have been very expensive. Little notes on what the techniques were here. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm recognising yes. this one. This is YouTube project. Yeah. Um, on a little mandala. So this was my rough mandala idea. Yeah. This is how I'll do it. And then once I got roughly what I wanted, then I kind of plotted it out and made it a bit more accurate. Again, I draw my stitches in so yeah. I can see clearly what this is going to look like yeah. without stitching it. Got a list of my stitches. Here's my colours, the order I'm going to stitch it in. So all the information is there. I can just pick my design up. These are my colours. This is stitch to mm-hmm. do. This is the order. So everything's there mm-hmm. on that page. A project for a, uh, the Victorian Albert Museum book mm. that I was involved mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. See a few ideas. This is the one I hit. Now was it this one or this one? I think. Yeah. I, think I simplified these down. Where you've got anything crossing is always more complicated. Yes. So I took the crossing one out and oh, right. made it a bit simpler, and that yes. became a project for them. Mm. It's a very random. <laughs> Looks like you're trying stuff out there. Trying stuff out, don't know what that's mm-hmm. about. And scribbles at the end, I very rarely get to the end of a sketchbook. So yes, I <laughs> have trouble with the last few pages. I don't know why that is. It's the excitement of the new book and you think, oh, I won't bother with the last few pages. something one. like that. That's just to rip them out. <laughs> you can stick them in the new book. Yeah, <laughs> Quite like my little blossom. <laughs> uh, oh, design for Linda. Oh, uh, other sister. Linda, mm. that's their initials in Oxford, yeah. Spires of Oxford. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it? This is my mandala design yeah. from previously, so that's all you need to stitch it. Not you don't much. need all of them. No. Yeah, you have to decide what, what your design is and then how much of that you need to transfer mm. in order to stitch. The stitches make up the pattern. Yeah. And you've got a collection of tracings yeah, related to... Yeah, quite interesting because I do trace a lot. It's a random Egyptian thing. So I do, you know, retrace these things mm-hmm. quite a lot. Perfectly acceptable. 
method to, you know, if you want something a lot, I'm not going to keep butterflies especially because they're symmetrical and they're so hard to draw. So you trace a lot and you learn by tracing as well, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. So here's yeah. the deer because he's appeared quite a few times. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Bunnies. <laughs> oh, there's another one underneath there, look. Oh, horse. yes. They were great, yes. That's, That's straight from one of the yeah. one of the designs. One of the vestments, isn't it? Might yeah. be the steeple aston coat. That. The one that was fragmented mm, and had to be put steeple back together. Aston yeah. coat, but yeah. the horse is beautiful. Yeah. So it'd be nice to do some more tracing, some peak patterns, some little ideas that got shoved in the back. Um, that was my Jack Beam piece that I did on my apprenticeship and I didn't like it so I redesigned it really? with the same elements just to see what I could do with it right, um, right. so yeah the original one um, and this is the redesigned one never stitched it but it was much improved <laughs> that's good to know <laughs> uh, little birdie he was from Pom Pompeii as well he's in the back and this is my bit of inspiration from my bed yeah. Might have taken some scrolly bits off. Some here. source material. Yeah. yeah. Get shoved in the back. Yeah. So it. thank you for talking us through that sketchbook. That, that mighty sketchbook. Lots of different things in yeah. there. Thank you. So I hope you all enjoyed that um, and you're inspired to um, do your own sketchbooks. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>